Hello, uh, good morning. How are you, my friends? How are you, my dear loved ones? Yeah, today is Sunday, and uh, I said, let me come and talk to you, my people. Let me come and say something. Let me come and, yeah, I share something with you. Uh, some time back, I was sick, I was down. Yeah, but now I'm okay. I'm now good. As you know, in this situation of the pandemic, uh, the COVID-19, uh, you know, it's quite hard. The situation is really, really hard. Uh, but I believe that uh, things can always work out. There is always a way out. Always. Always. I never worry. And I never give up. I always believe that the end is not yet my way. I can always persevere. I can always find a well. I can always find another path. Plan A, plan B, plan C, plan C, plan C, plan D is always there. And believe me, the solution is always available. What matters, do your effort. Do all you have to do. Do all you need to do. And also, don't forget God. Leave the rest to Him. He'll do His part. When you do your part, He will do His part. So guys, today I want to talk about life. I also want to talk about... Uh, you know, a positive mind. COVID-19. I know everybody's talking about COVID-19. Everybody blah, 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 COVID-19. Blah, 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 COVID-19. And I believe people are actually tired of hearing COVID-19. COVID-19. I also probably feel like I'm tired. But you cannot actually be tired of hearing COVID-19 because this is what is actually happening. Whether you want or not, COVID-19 is existing. Whether you want to believe it or you don't want to believe it, it is there. It's existing. And it's actually going to exist until we actually get God's favor and he takes it away. We get a vaccine, we get a treatment that is actually going to help us overcome this problem. Or if we don't have it yet, we're going to have to accept it, that COVID-19 is existing. But believe me, COVID-19 is going to bring a sickness in people's minds. A sickness that is going to put them down. A sickness that is going to affect them psychologically. And to me, I believe when the mind is affected, every part of you is affected. So how can we overcome this? How? Okay, now, very many people have died around the world. Very, very many people have, have died. But believe me, there are many that are still alive. But the truth is, they are dead. The walking dead. And among us, those ones are people that have actually chose to resign. Those among us, the government officials around the world. They have chose to resign. Why? Because they no longer understand themselves. They no longer understand who they are. They no longer believe things can work out anymore. They feel like it is too much. They are overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. What's the lesson we have on top here? This is a COVID-19 that has come to affect the whole world. But we can take it in the perspective that it is a COVID-19 of your own. A COVID-19 that has come, that has attacked you in particular. 
it has not attacked your family, it has not attacked your country, it has not attacked the world, but it has attacked you in particular. You know what comes to you when you receive your own COVID-19 is fear. Most of the people, fear comes unto them. They get to fear, they get to be afraid, they get to be, oh my God. It cannot work out anymore. It can't. And when you reach the time when you put on bed rest in the hospital, you believe that it can be no more. You're right on the wall. You are going to die. You start thinking about your car. You start thinking about your children. If at all you have some, you start thinking about your mother. You think about your brothers and sisters. You think about a lot. You overstrain at that moment. And you believe that you have no any other chance. You have no any other chance. But now, in this situation, what matters to you? If at all your family, your children, your wealth is something you're worried of, is something that matters, and you, you feel like you cannot lose it, you feel like you don't want to lose it, you feel like everything is going down to zero, you're losing it all. What actually matters? What is going to take you this this situation and you become a winner? We've always had uh, motivational speakers speaking to us about businesses, our work, like work hard, wake up earlier, uh, go on extra mile. We have heard them saying, we have heard them talking, we have heard them say this and this. But, my friend, Mm -hmm. At a certain point when you believe that it cannot work out, when you feel like things cannot go any further, what matters? Ask yourself a question, what matters? Okay, before getting this COVID-19 of your own, what was mattering in your life? Some people, all that mattered is their job, their luxuries, you know, the cars and so on, the phones, the iPhone 11, the gods. That's all that mattered to them. But they never knew that the greatest matter everyone should mind every single day is life. When you don't matter life, my dear, the moment when you get your own COVID, you get to bed rest, that's when you're going to realize that life is the most important thing. Not health, not health, no. The most important thing is life. What's life to you? What's life? To me, I believe uh, life is a, is a stress-free mind. A live being is a person that is stress-free. Well, you could have the stress, you could have each and everything, but my friend, if at all you have stress, you're never going to be able to think. If you let stress take over your mind 100%, you're never going to be able to think. You're never going to be in position to think positive. You're always going to think negative. You're always going to be low. You're always going to be down. But when you forego stress, when you forego fear, when you forego those major, major uh, instincts that calm your mind and actually make you weak, they make your mind weak, my friend, you're going to be a winner. You're going to be a winner. You're going to make it at the end of the day. Why? Because you are living a stress-free life. And you're having what you call life. But if you have the stress and let it conquer your mind. Oh my 
network, my network, it has jumped, oh sh come on, 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 come on. Come on. Do you know that uh, many people are dying? Of coronavirus, but the reason why they're actually dying is not specifically coronavirus. The reason why these people are dying, to me, I think it's because of the negative mind, negative mindset. Within their minds, within their mindset, they don't believe that they can heal. They can forgo this. They can overcome it. It's not there within their mind. And at the end of the day, they're going to die. But my friend, my dear, if at all you have a positive mind, even when you feel like you're at the extreme end of the world, you're going to overcome it. You're going to overcome this COVID-19 of yourself, of your own. Are you going to maneuver? At the end of the day, you're going to win. And you're going to make it. The moment you get to have, oh my God, the network. Oh my god, my network is bad, my network is bad. My network is bad. Oh guys, my network is so bad. I don't know. The network's bad. It's on and off. But uh, yes, the moment you happen to have a negative mind, that's the beginning of your end. That's the start or the beginning of your death. That moment when you start dying. But when you keep a positive mind, you'll be able to, to attack the death. You'll be able to handle death yourself. Because unless you'll have a chance to have the way out, to think. Instead of sitting aside, not only go quick over Giza. No girl watching the watching the Mukamakatonda. My dear, O Kokova Giza, the China Chicken of Kuyamba. A chicken of Kuyamba. Kosigalango, you are man. Kosigalango in a positive mind. Kosigalango Kirizanti, O Chasso Rogana Maso. Kosigalango Kiriza. Ndo chaso ulo kuona. Kusiga nandu ngo kiliza. Ndo chaso ulo kufuna nchokuli ya mumbele anga tukola. Gabo gezako kolo vuna nizibu wa Try your efforts. 
try your efforts but in any point or at any point in time don't lose the positive mind the moment you lose the positive mind and you start belonging to the negative mind my friend you're dead you're dead but anyway as we are carrying on this positive mind among us what do we learn from the COVID-19 situation just as we've said from the beginning that it shows us that life matters beyond anything else life matters of health and wealth what matters what's gonna save you what's gonna protect you what's a vaccine you have that is going to maintain you that's going to reserve you and keep you alive there is no wealth that will keep you alive in the situation of COVID-19 when you're down on your bed rest. No, your car is not going to help you. Your workers, your employers, your employees, your employer, and so on, they're not going to help you. But what's going to help you the moment when you're on bed rest is having the positive mind. The health. If you worked for your health, COVID-19 will not put you down. Very many people have taken health as a last priority. Prioritizing their businesses, prioritizing their bosses, prioritizing their, their treasures and so on, prioritizing their wives or prioritizing their girlfriends, their children and so on. Forgetting about the health because when you're on bed rest, bed rest you can only help your children you can only help your parents you can only help yourself but what matters your life be healthy eat healthy live healthy do exercise daily me I just of recent had to push myself harder so that I get to be much proactive. I had to push myself harder. And then, you know, when you push yourself harder, harder and harder, with an aim, with the purpose of making, you know, of, of achieving this greatest goal of being healthy, this greatest goal of living a good life, living a happy life, a life with no worries, a life with no death moments, you need to push harder. Doing exercise is not easy. It's something you commit to. Learning to eat healthy, it's not easy at a certain point. Financially, sometimes some of us, we don't like eating things that are sour. But my friend, this could be the things that are going to help you keep healthy. So we just need to push harder and teach our minds and teach our digest, you know, the digestive system to be used to these sour things, to be used to this vegetable stuff. You push harder and dedicate yourself have a mission to be healthy. Don't eat trash. Don't eat everything you find along the way. Try to make some research about your, your you know, the exact way you're meant to eat. Make some research about your, your blood group. What kind of foods do you have to eat with respect to your body, with respect to your blood? So that you can boost your immunity because right now everyone is talking boost your immunity boost your immunity boost your immunity my dear you're not going to be able to boost your immunity in just one day or two days or three we need to work for it we need to work for it 
let's boost our immunity now boosting your immunity health wise boosting your immunity business wise boosting your immunity in everything that you want to achieve boost your immunity before you come to the point of death before you come to lose your job boost your immunity before you come to lose your friends boost your immunity before you come to die boost your immunity maybe you would have a much bigger more or much more opportunity to survive and, and keep living but the only way you can boost your immunity is by keeping a positive mind yes is by keeping a positive mind when you keep that positive mind You're gonna be able to push harder and harder and harder and harder. Guys, my internet is on and off, on and off. Yeah, the, I, I think probably the weather has also affected it because it's just, it's just, it's, it has been raining, so the weather is cloudy. But anyway. I'll get back to you next time, guys. Take good care of yourself. Bye. Yeah, my network is on and off, guys. But, uh, yeah, I believe, yeah, 